Hello everyone, Mike again, new found past. What is going on? We have 10 more items that sold on eBay. Wide variety of stuff. Uh, you know by now we show the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right in. First up, we got these really cool Levi's uh, original acid washed jeans. Yes, these are original from the 1980s. I know it was awesome. I couldn't believe I, I couldn't believe I found these when I did. You know, it's one of those things you hardly believe your eyes. And what I really couldn't believe is that they didn't sell for more than they did. But, you know, it happens. These were not new. These were pre-owned. These were orange tab. Let me show you there. Yep. No biggie, of course. These were just regular orange tab jeans. A little rough there, but it looks really cool. Made in the USA. Uh, 3832s, which this is what, something that you need to be vigilant about if you're going to sell vintage clothing is telling people in every single vintage clothing listing to check the measurements and always put measurements should do it for everything but definitely for vintage clothing because these are 38 32s i guarantee you these are smaller than a modern day 38 32 these probably fit more like a modern uh, 36 or so or maybe even a 34 because back then they were more true to size and now we have gotten the uh, clothing companies have gotten kind of uh exaggerated with their <laughs> clothing sizes so um yeah so obviously list the measurements in every piece of vintage clothing which i do i have minimum on jeans i'll put the waist in the inseam actual measurements lying flat so yep yeah, but these i had listed for 43.19 plus shipping and someone sent me a best offer of 30 dollars plus shipping and i accepted 30 dollars plus shipping not too bad for about a five dollar pair of jeans this is a retail arbitrage thing. This is an example of something that I would list for my patrons if, when I find it. I found this one last fall, so obviously I wasn't doing that then, but I would have. I found these at TJ Maxx for about 25 bucks a piece, and I found four or five of them, and I think this is the last one or the next to the last one I have left. These have sold anywhere from all the way up to $100, and they've trickled down from there. But I had this one down to sixty twenty seven. Somebody shot me a best offer of $50 plus shipping, and I went ahead and accepted. These did take up a lot of room, and I was still in the profit at $50, so I just accepted and moved it on down the road. This is a, this was a full queen. Yeah, it's brand new. What, what can I say? It was really cool. Really nice little retail arbitrage find at TJ Maxx. Next up, another printer, this Canon PIXMA TS6020 uh, wireless inkjet printer. This is the type of printer that's still pretty modern. This is not too old. Like, I usually sell older vintage printer printers, and I think this one was from the last couple years or so. So it still wasn't real valuable, but I picked this one up for only about $10 or $15, and it was brand new in the box. Sealed, never been opened. Let's see if I did that here, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I took a shot of the tape right there. You can tell it's never been opened. It would have rips and tears on the red part if it had been opened. But, you know, paid, you know, pretty cheap price for this and had it listed up for $60.61. Somebody shot me a best offer of $50 plus shipping and I accepted $50 and the buyer paid $33.55 shipping for a total of $83.55 on the Canon printer. So, yeah, it was pretty nice and freed up a nice big spot to my overhead rack. Next up, the Star Trek Legacy PC Games uh, PC game. This was uh, new in the package. It had a little rip on it right there. Obviously, I pictured and denoted it. Had this one listed for twenty-seven dollars and twenty-eight cents plus shipping. Somebody shot me a best offer of twenty dollars plus shipping, and I accepted twenty dollars plus shipping out the door. Next up, this Kitchen Master Super Strong Compactor Bags Pre-Cuff 12 Pack. We gave just a few bucks for these. These took forever to sell, so I probably wouldn't buy these again. But they eventually did sell for full asking, $17.08 plus shipping. I imagine shipping is what killed it on these because these were big and they were pretty heavy. You know, they were paper bags. So, But still made a few bucks and got them out of the storage bins. Next up, this L.L. Bean Men's Corduroy three button coat blazer whatever these corduroys do pretty well especially with the plaid interior i mean yellow bean uh, had this one for a little while had it listed for 39 dollars 97 cents and that's what it sold for 39.97 plus shipping this was a uh, you know an okay size 40 regular that's a little bit on the small size but not too terrible the more like a it's probably like a men's large or medium or so i don't remember exactly i don't wear suits that often and haven't in a long time but you know i've been in business for myself for about the past 15 years and 
I don't have to wear suits, so I don't. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what my suit size is. But anyway, that was a good profit on those, uh, on that. And yeah, on to the next item. It's a Kershaw Life of the Party Vintage Halloween Noisemaker. These are the ones that you twirl around your hand, the metal. We picked these up in a, a job lot bag for just a couple dollars last fall. Try to get pictures of the edge there. These were vintage. They, they made reproductions of these, but these were the real deal. The Made in USA. Yeah. By, you can see right there, by, made by something air. No, that was the Kirchhoff. Yeah. So, yeah, those are really cool. Uh, picked those up, uh, I think, last fall after Halloween. That's why we still have them. And had those listed for twenty three eighty nine, and got a best offer of twenty two sixty five plus shipping. Yeah, I took that. <laughs> Somebody only wanted a dollar and fifteen cents off. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, twenty two sixty five plus shipping. That was pretty good. This is another online arbitrage. This is exactly the thing that I would put as a hot deal for my patrons. I got these at afees com, and I bought like ten of them for. I think about 10 bucks a piece. So I was a hundred dollars all in on these and, uh, had these listed up, if, you know, where you buy one, if you buy more than one, you get a discount and I'm down, I was down to five here and two of them sold three of them sold. Did somebody buy? No, they only bought two of them. Yeah. They bought two of them at one time right here. And, uh, you know, with the discount and everything, I had them listed for 33 69 each and they paid a total of $64 and 40 cents plus shipping. So they were all in about $75 for two of these, but on my end, 64 40, you know, you take out the fees. I wasn't really about a, let me see here, about a $30 profit after cost of goods sold and eBay fees and everything. So this is the exact kind of item that I would list as a hot deal. Uh, not your typical margin from like your garage sale or thrift store, but it never will be from retail arbitrage or online arbitrage. So but yeah, that was pretty nice. Next up, this Swingster red vest. This is a just a polyester, you know, or nylon, whatever vest, but it had the Stroh's beer patch on it. Picked this up last fall for just a couple dollars. It got down to $20.34 plus shipping, and I accepted $20.34 plus shipping, and it just had the snaps. You know, it didn't have a zip or anything. One snap had a little bit of roughage on it there, but overall, it was in pretty good condition. You know, it's just a typical... 80s late 70s 80s puffy vest nothing special about it but yeah pretty good profit on that and last up is the mid-century modern royal holland real dutch pewter <laughs> that's a mouthful basically these are cups <laughs> they're pewter cups and i would not buy these again we only paid a few dollars for them but uh, and they were brand new and they took forever to sell had them listed for $11.77 and I sent out a bunch of offers and I sent out an offer on these of $7.50 and somebody finally accepted. So I still made two or three dollars, but I would not uh, sell these again. Let me show you there, the box. The box was beat up, but they were brand new. So yeah, I would not touch those again. But anyway, that is 10 items that sold on eBay. Uh, thanks guys. Please remember to check out uh, all the benefits available to you. Uh, thanks to every everyone for buying the mystery boxes we do appreciate that and we will see you soon with another video